just finished going in, so now we're trying to raise the temp up. We felt a little low, so just keeping it stirring, keeping the grains moving. We're trying to get our appropriate mash temp. Would you consider this the max amount of liquid that is going to go into one of our beers in this kettle? Uh, we could probably fit another two gallons in here, but it's pretty darn close. So we're talking about Vicky Bicky right now. Um, <laughs> Ricky's son has got a uh, imaginary friend named Bicky Bicky that is kind of creeping the shit out of all of us, <laughs> especially the girls. <laughs> we actually think it's kind of funny because I mean, what kind of imaginary friend isn't funny? Anyway, so here we have it. We've had a couple of hop additions already. Uh, started off with our 60. Actually, we started off with our mash well, yeah, our mash, which stayed in for 30 minutes. Um, took that out with a hop sock, and then we went to our 60 minute addition, which I promptly screwed up. <laughs> Thought it was our 45 minute addition. Uh, so another addition yeah, to Amarillo, out. whatever. whatever. <laughs> we just like hops. This is double IPA, you can't go wrong. Um, so we did mash, 60, 45, just out of the 30. Now Ricky's gonna kind of go over everything talk about it, where we're at and what we're doing. Yeah, basically we're adding the hops. Got, I don't know, what, half an hour or so left on the boil. Yeah, just under half an hour. So right now, basically adding the hops, you volatilize the uh, the hop oils, the lupulin oils. <clears throat> basically that gives you the bitterness. The longer you have them in there, the longer, the more bitterness you get, the less you have them in the boil, basically the more flavor aroma you add to it. So. We're starting to approach more of the flavor and aroma additions, and we've finished with more of our bittering additions before. So this is very hoppy beer, our, our hoppiest one yet. So quite a bit of hops going into this. I think all together, we've got 7,000 pounds of hops are going into this. Close to 7,000? Uh, 6,000. Six and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Six and a half pounds of hops are what are going into this. Uh, last step is chilling the wort. So we got a wort chiller in there as well as we're using our pump to do a little circulation. So we got a whirlpool action to run it past the, um, the wort chiller a little bit more to cool everything off. So here we go. You can see here the pump is running. 
Just circulating the wart. Right here's where our wart tiller is going in with the water. A little bit of a circulation. We need some new pumps to make that go a little bit faster. But it's still moving. And then the wart tiller down in there. So after this, we'll um, add our starters that we've got full of yeast um, to three separate kegs, get them going, and then uh, create some beer. The transfer has already started from keg two of three legally bought kegs, 100%, adding oxygen. Of uh, intoxication, if I heard when he was very concerned about the herbs. One, two, and three. Really get the good brew. We got a lot of. Looks like it's turned out pretty clear. Uh, had a pretty good hot like, break. So your house, you the store, you Cold break. Uh, looks like it's all filtering out of the false bottom pretty well. So. so we're approaching the bottom. Look at all those hops. Just moving around. Sixteen and a half thousand pounds of hops. It's yeast pitch time. Pissing, <laughs> pissed in the yeast. <laughs> Pitching the yeast. It's that time. We're gonna get it done. Gonna go in there, grab it, and we'll go. Hey, YouTube star, tell us what you're doing. Pouring the yeast in. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to get all short with me now. <laughs>